Alright, hey, so I uh, got rid of all the uh, bleach jug down below. There's some remnants from the spillage. It definitely smells like a salad in here. I think we want to get into the metal work today. We'll start making some metal parts just because that's what I am in the mood to do. So, shall we? I think we'll start off with this guy. This was the tin that sat roughly right about... I think it sat right about there. But as you can see, it's got a little thin on the bottom side and one of the standoffs is rotted completely off. It should look something like that. So we're going to go just rebuild the whole thing and make a new one for that corner instead of you know, trying to screw with any of this. So let's go get set up. We'll get the game together and uh, let's go have some fun. So I measured up the old one and uh, it was 20 gauge and we are going to replace it with 20 gauge. I'm just going to use the piece that I have as my, my template to make a new one. Then we can get the bending. You see we try to fold that lip down. And we're going to go call that one right there and we're gonna say the bend was right there we got a straight edge we'll mark that out and we'll get that with a sharpie so we're gonna go call that one right there the that'll be the other inside bend should be right there Cut line there. We'll go with a cut line there. And we got a bend on the other side. Remind me that that bend goes the other direction. Right there. You know I'm going to go the wrong way with that one. I know I am. I was all set to take the plasma cutter and cut it out, but I figured, you know what? Maybe it would be a brighter idea to get rid of or we'll create the holes that are in the center of it first while it's still one big piece of metal instead of trying to screw around with uh, the little piece and have it spin around when you're trying to spin it. Let's see how well this guy works. Picked them up at a yard sale over the summer. Have not really had a chance to use them. That looks pretty good. So we can go for one more. I like that. I put a little bit of oil on the threads so they're not fighting. And I'm gonna look for a piece of pipe that's probably about that diameter of the hose that I have, and we'll just tack them on. Get yeah, that guy. He's still in the right direction. So that <laughs> oops that should be that all right get the plasma cutter set up yeah see if we get those cut out of there i'm gonna guesstimate right about I'm going to cut my bench in half. <laughs> you look good? Go with that? I trade places with you. You guys can go over here. Maybe. There you go. 
You good? Steady? Standing on one foot? Mark that up and uh, start doing some bending. We you say we nibble out those corners too. We want to get rid of that and that. Oh yeah, noise alert. Alright, so who caught the mistake before I did? Whoops. <laughs> you see my problem. Those needed to go up that away. <sighs> Shit happens. The old saying, we do it right because we do it twice. Let's go try that one and see how well that one agrees to what we're trying to make. Anybody? Any issues? Speak now. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Alright, new piece. And uh, we're going to go bend it up. Got a punch mark here, 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 and here. And those are my eyeball spots for when it's inside the die. I can see where the top of the knife is. So we're just going to go Line those guys up. Let's try to give ourselves a nice 90 on that. Yeah. Again, that's where you use the punch marks. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's how it, sh it shows up a lot better than trying to use uh, like a marker or whatnot. Good. Do it one more time. You can kind of lay it down a little too. And there we go. That looks better towards that shape. Now the next one would have to go like that. And unfortunately the die is in the way. So I may leave this stand proud. I want to look at the way it attached underneath the... Uh, Scooter. You guys don't see what I'm talking about, are you? Let's uh, do that. So I'm going to leave this lip on here for now and not do a bend because that may be able just to be left like it is and bolted right to the body. But uh, we'll see when we get that underneath there. I think we should start with those two rings next. So the closest thing I found was this piece of um, hammock, those green hammocks that you know you put in your yard, you move around and you know, kind of deal the frame that is on those. So that was on the side of the road free and I grabbed it for its steel. This is the hose that I'm going to use and it's close. It's got a little bit of play in it. It might just be fine actually the way it is. You can clamp down on it. There's an end that's already clamped down. Yeah. So we're going to go slice off probably two one inch chunks of that and then we can weld that to that. I'm going to cut a couple slices. Let's get that back up out of the way and we're just going to eyeball it. We're going to say right about 
Do you want to call that an inch? We'll measure later, see how close we got. What do you think? I'm gonna call that seven eighths. Mm, about seven eighths. A tad shy. All right, so we need to make those make that look like that. Make sure I weld them on the right side, right? Uh, what do you think? We just kind of give them a little hold and attack. Let's try that. I got the welder set on. 18 gauge no eighth eighth inch oh my god eighth inch because the bigger of the two metal two metals is eighth i kind of want to melt into them a little so i'm going to concentrate my weld on here and try to work my way down to the bottom we'll see how that goes for us though and we'll say right about there. I take a few minutes I'm gonna go buzz them all the way around make them nice and solid and uh, we'll move on in the after and hit with a grind a flapper disc kind of knock them flat it's got a little bit of a crest to it I'm not that concerned Keep the formality I uh, blew through in one spot I think right there I had to build it up again so I knocked the welder down even further so I, I set it at eighth inch for this because this was eighth as you saw I kind of ran the gun into the side of it and then at the last second drew down to the bottom to grab the bottom of the plate so I got my puddle going over here and once the puddle was uh, established I dropped down into the thinner metal so then I turn the heat down afterwards because I don't need to generate that much heat to get you now attached to this you, you're kind of running more of a constant bead and uh, I knocked it down to what was it like 14 gauge and then I think I went down to uh, about uh, 12 gauge. No, I mean uh, 18 gauge or so. Between 16 and 18. And did the rest of them. Is that too much information? And where that piece goes is right roughly about like that. Something in that oh. facsimile of a location. The hoses come off of the fan and run down to this guy. I think that's where they went. I got to look at it again. But then the seat cover goes over the whole thing and that has two more holes that kind of line up in front of this. So this is sitting behind it and then the seat goes over it, and those holes are supposed to line up with the other ones. So what I'm gonna do is take a whiz wheel, we're gonna cut off the old hardware that was there. And I'm probably just going to put the seat in place. We'll have this from behind it. I'll line up the holes with my hands and then just, just take a marker and mark right through it. And then we'll make uh, two holes in that and we can bolt it on. It's her in her glory, a little better than what we had before. 
bolts are still loose. It's got some play side to side, up and down, so we can fine tune it once the cover is back on. But uh, I think we're going to continue with metal work. I'm not going to bother hooking the, the pump up and the hoses and all. I want to get while the metal tools are out. We keep going. So what do you think we deal with this corner? That looks like it's pretty gone. Don't know if we should just, just make a new one, if we can get that out of there. It all depends on whether it's welded. I have a, fortunately, it's probably welded to this guy. Let's go walk over the other side and check it out. Maybe not. I'm not sure. That looks like a weld to me, though. I'm going to go take a little bit of time, take some of these screws out and see what does and does not come apart. How's that? So I started digging into taking that panel apart and as you can see what it's made out of, two more here. But there's a frame underneath here that runs back and it's got the choke going through it, the uh, knockout for the uh, emergency brake and some other stuff. I figured uh, I am you know, starting to shoot a little too far as far as we want to do this and time spent. So we are just going to slice it on that line roughly right there and rebuild that part of it. But before I do that, I'm just going to go and cut my section out and bend it up before I cut any of this off and fit that just so I have a, a, a good remembrance where this lip was and it can kind of come back and uh, trim away later on. I bent up that new panel. I think it will slice out on that line that we have there. See what kind of thickness of metal we have, and you know, if this, there's still something that we can weld onto this, and we're good. And if not, we'll work further into it. See how, see how we do, Lefty. Exactly a straight line. All right. I want that guy over there, and I need to measure how far that was, don't I? I got to make a point here, mark it, say from the screw over, measure that, so I know where that lip is. Probably should have done that first. Next time we'll know, right? All right, so what do you think? We go with above, or we'll tap it in there and weld it and go from below. Above. Something like that. Below. I'm starting to think if we can get that thing whittled into there, I think maybe on top would be better. I think I'll just give a cleaner straight line Yes, no, maybe. You agree? Yeah. Let's go whittle it down, see if we can get it to go underneath that corner and do just that. Yes, no? Maybe so? That's what I'm thinking. It's a little rusty right in that area. So she's going to be popping a little bit with the welder. But uh, As long as you get some tacks on it, I don't think we need to run a bead all the way across. If it'll go, I will. If it won't, I won't. How's that? So, I'll uh, buzz that together, get the clamps off of there. And uh, I guess we should make sure that our our seat still fits back in. That would be a good idea. I set the welder to uh, 20 gauge. That's pretty much what we're working with. And you can see it did fairly well around here. It's a little punky because of uh, you know, trying to burn through the rust. Flux core wire will probably be better in this situation, but decent enough. It's restitched back together, and I don't know back here what the story is. If this is supposed to be welded to this, or is this supposed to be screwed to it? I just don't know yet. So I am going to go and go have a, a coffee break and uh, sit and ponder, and we'll come back out, let this thing cool off a little, let the air clear out of here a little bit, and uh, get at it again. Yeah, it appears to be welded over here, so I'm going to go give a a couple right down here and uh, get that supported and then I think we should be good to go. Yeah, I think we're going to go call that one done other than paint. Uh, if I had to do it again I'd probably go with 18 instead of 20 gauge. It's a little on the flimsy side. But... Alright so this guy this is the seat and this would be the right hand side and the bottom corner of that is pretty blown out and the problem 
I'm going to run into with making a patch panel for it is that it is, if you went all the way to that corner, it's going to be 19 wide. And it depends on how far up you go. Say if you went up three inches. Well, the problem is my width between these two beams is like 17 and change, 17 and an eighth. But if I make it short enough, as long as it's under two and a half to the center to make that bend, I'll be okay. So if I feel like I can come up two and a half and be in a good metal, it'll be a little, little iffy up there, but I guess that's what we're going to go for. So we'll give it, what's that lip look like? We'll call it two and a half and we'll add another... I don't know, three quarter for a kickback. So two and a half, three and a quarter is what we're looking for by three and a quarter by 19. Remember that. There you go, old patch panel made up and now we are out of 18 gauge instead of 20. This is a little bit more stout. Probably should have done that from the beginning. So we need to go, you know that's max right there. And I think what we're going to do is I'll slice back probably, I don't know, that much. Leave a quarter inch or so. And then come back with a grinder. I'll grind that line off. And again, we'll lay it over the top of it and um, buzz it from that side. It seems to be our, our go-to. All right. So we'll slice that thing off of there. You think right about... Got to remember that the yeah, it leaves about a quarter. On this side of it on the end of it but I'm not gonna worry about that so I'm gonna grind out that line clamp it together weld that sucker on there and drop that on my foot I know it's dark but I ended up putting a, a triangle up in this top corner to reinforce that and I did uh, make a patch for that last section to box off that bottom and uh, I think the last section we have is really on the front here I don't know it looks like we're bad that all the way up another there, but we need to think if we come maybe to there and right here. There's a there's a rail that comes down. I don't want to go past there, but I think uh, we might be back to good meat. So what do you think we slice that? Well, we'll make that panel first, and we'll punch another hole in it, and. Uh, do the same thing we'll probably lay it over the top and stitch it over the top and try to you know make them match up agree disagree thoughts opinions all right i got this the crack cut out of there that was what was that, that was something like something like that and then i took the air chisel rolled off where the spot welds were knock them flat put some uh, punch holes in this one so that I can plug weld back to this this is the tab that supports everything and I'm notched out for it you should be able to a little persuasion do something
like that. That should be right where we need to be. I'm gonna run a I'm gonna run a straight edge down the, the face of it to make sure. It took me a couple of tacks on that, and I think that should take care of that busted up corner. What do you think? Not looking at what you're supposed to be looking at. Not that you're gonna be able to see anyway, right? We'll get a couple of tacks on that, get it back together. I bet you got the wrong ground club. You cannot use the one from the plasma cutter when you're using the welder. It just doesn't work. Try that again. Stay pretty flat. Oh, I'm gonna go and play connect the dots and keep doing that until it has a solid weld all the way across it. And a little after the weld before the grind. Looks pretty good. Put a little bit of heat in it. Got a little bit of a curve in this part, but has, might even go away when it cools off. That should hold it back together. That and that. And I gotta look how to tie them together. Might just kinda hammer that over and fill that with weld so that the box is kinda complete. I'm not sure if it rests on I left this guy a little proud, so this might be the right spot, or this is. And what there is, I saw was a foam gasket going across, so until we put it back in the hole, we're not going to know how any of this crap is lining up, but uh, I just did my best. My best guess, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go knock that down with a flapper disc, and we'll probably pop it back in, see how good it looks, or not. Yeah, let's go see if... Uh... What's your bets? I'm giving it a 20% chance it'll fit right the first time. Just a guess. This panel is still off. It stays recessed like that. The seat goes over the top. I think it's bolts that go through the back of it that bolt this to the back rail. Let's see how the other side looks. This is that seal I was talking about. So I figured it was taking up a little bit of that gap, you know? Did not make those two levels so that worked out good because it does touch right there too so that's the stop for it and once that's under there the whole front will be on kind of cushiony how's that how's our heater line up and that guy looks like it's I think we're fine. What they had on here was like foam rings that bridge the gap between the two of them on the outside of it. So we can get that back in. Again, that guy's loose still in there too. So I think uh, we're close enough. Yeehaw. All right. I don't know. You had enough? I think I might want to wind down for the evening. We got more to do. We got uh, the back to do. That's basically one big square. Yeah, 
And I think we're gonna leave this one alone. It's fairly solid. I know it's got crap in it, you can't see. It's a little punkiness in the back wall. I'm not sure if I wanna deal with that yet. It's nothing structural. I don't know, I think the rear floor will, will start on next. And this guy. Yeah. Uh, this is the side panel that came off. Yeah, we need to do the bottom of that one too, and then we'll be all set. All right, all right. So I'm gonna wrap her up, guys. I'm gonna thank y'all again for hanging out. We got some metal work done. My favorite part is always uh, stitching back together, Frankensteining them back together. And on that note, we'll do the same on the next video then. We'll do some more metal work. We got more to go. So, okay, pretty close. All right, guys. Again, thanks for all coming by and hanging out in the garage. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.